Hi, welcome back. So I finally did it. I finally got rid of my Haunted Mansion and most of my Spooky Season uh, builds. Uh, it was very hard, but I finally committed, and I'm, it's finally gone. It's gone. So instead, I'm going to be decorating for uh, the fall and autumn now that the leaves have finally actually changed colors. And with Turkey Day coming up, you know, you got to get in the festive mood. I am going to be working on four main builds and some space fillers. The first part is going to be this little, like, community picnic area so i put down these tablecloths um or tables with cloth i forgot what they're called and you can customize these if you didn't know but i didn't really want to be bothered with that so i just left them white i kind of liked it uh but i've seen people do like you know uh, like orange and yellow um like plaid colors because of like you know turkey day and just fall colors but i like i said i like them white so i left them like that and it's going to be a little like um Wait, no, I don't like, do I, do I want that one there? No, okay, hold on, sorry, I got confused. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be like a little like buffet sort of situation. Um, yeah, I changed my mind, I don't like that. Okay, I know this sounds like ridiculous, but when you turn the marigold decorations, I don't like that the candle is too close to the balloon because what if like the balloon gets too hot and the candle like makes the balloon pop? Do you know what I mean? So that's why it needs to be on the other side. I know, like, this is my daily life. Like, I overthink things, even, like, in a game. Do you see how, like, the candle is no longer close to the balloon? I feel better now. Anyways, moving on. Yeah, so this is going to be, like, a little um, community picnic area. You have your soup. You have your your um, your desserts. And you're going to have, um, you're going to have, wow, I get so distracted. Yeah, I'm so happy I turned around that marigold. Anyways, yeah, so you're going to have, like, a little, uh, drinking area over here like if you want to just drink water to stay hydrated you're more than welcome so we're going to put a barrel and then a little handy water cooler we're going to push that back and then over here we're going to just put like a regular um cooler box in case you want to um bring something that's not water i don't know whoa do you see how how bright the top of the soup kettle is like when you turn down it's it was so bright anyways so yeah that's that little section and it looks nice um i bet you're wondering well what if you didn't already bring food where are you going to cook well this is space filler number one and it's just going to be that outdoor kitchen you know like you can grill here whatever take it to the table like it's a nice little space filler we're good do i want to work on this area um no i want to work on this area actually so yeah i already sectioned off some areas because it just makes it easier for me so I don't get too overwhelmed and um, we're just gonna put these plain party lights these are so nice I, I wish I wish you could like get them to be like longer you know what I mean like I don't know I don't even know what I mean sometimes anyways so yeah we're gonna put these here uh, not in that angle though let me try again like I said we're gonna put these here like side by side to like face us I lost it where is it there we go found it okay that's not what I wanted there are times to charm. Be patient with me, please. We got this. We got this. All right. And we put it right there. Nice. We're just going to push it back a little bit. And yeah, this is to create an ambiance. <laughs> I don't really think I know the definition of that word, but like it sounds like it was used properly. I hope it was. And then uh, I struggle so hard with planting trees in the correct position. So sometimes, honestly, I just use a stra uh, tree standy because that's easier. Like you can push that around into a position that you want versus a tree like I always manage to plant a tree the wrong way somehow I don't know it's just it's just the way that I work I don't know um so yeah so I'm putting a lot of like this uh mush mush lug mush lug I don't know because it's fall and it has little like mushrooms on it to like you know tie in more of that fall vibe if you know what I'm saying um I need some seats I don't have one crafted so I'm gonna go to Norma's house and steal her bench Actually, I found some wooden logs, so I'm just going to use those instead, so I didn't have to steal Norma's bench. What if she came out of her house and she was like, where's my bench? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Whoa, a dragonfly. Okay. But yeah, so I didn't steal her, her, her wooden bench, and I'm just going to use these wooden stools instead in case you want to sit down. And I, I, I like when things are mismatched, so like one is one color and the other one is not the other color, hence the mismatched. And I'm going to put, like, some strap books. I was going to decorate more over here. But, honestly, like, this was supposed to be, like, a quick build. Um, and, like, I just didn't want to think too much. Oh, I customized this truck, though. So, like, this is, like, a little, like, cider drinking area. That's why you have, like, the little 
table in case you want to sit down and drink your cider there and like read a book and then on uh, oh he's sitting on the job oh my gosh i'm a menace but yeah in case you want to sit down and drink your cider there these are like the empty bottles and this is space filler number two um whoa i sounded like a like a uh an announcer like a like a what like a game show presenter what are they called i don't know Space filler number two, you know what I mean? Anyway, so this is going to be um, space filler number two. It's just going to be like a little trash can area. You can't fit much here, but like I think it makes sense. Like there's food and stuff, so you know you need a trash can. And uh, you are, you're also going to need some trash bags. Like I said, it's just a simple but effective space filler. And we're good. And this is what this little cider area looks, you know. It can be warm cider, cold cider, spark cider. Whatever type of cider your heart desires, it's all good. So, like, normally I would have put, like, a little path right here. But, like I said, I wasn't trying to think too much. Um, and it was supposed to be, like, a quick build. So, like, I just left it like that. But over here, I had already done it. So, like, this little path I would have done on the other side. But I didn't do it on this side. And that's okay. I'm not going to bore you with picking up every single item. So, I've already picked it up. And this is going to be um, project number three. Um, again, with the party lights, just to add more of that ambiance i really need to look at the definition of that word because what if i've been using it wrong this whole time that would be so embarrassing oh a dragonfly it's back remember there's always like a red dragonfly like following me now it's gone back to green do you see it what is going on anyways i really love the fall i like when i logged in isabel was like oh yeah maple leaves are flowing and it makes me happy like I, it makes me sad that it doesn't really last for that long so that's why i finally was like i need to get rid of like my spooky season builds and I start really like diving into fall aesthetics a a aesthetics wow what what am I even saying anyways fall vibes because like it comes and goes so fast so I finally deleted or got rid of my spooky season vibes and we're building this area it's supposed to be like a little um like a community gathering place I guess you know like everyone comes here and like you can do you know like a a cookout you can like have some cider you know it's just like you know like one of those like pumpkin farms sort of situation area anyways but over here what I'm building is and I, I had this in my last build too is the little like bobbing for apple station but just like more like secluded like specific specific for bobbing for apples um so that's going to be this little build over here and it's it's simple but effective and like if you already didn't know like what like the spooky season stuff like the uh spooky tower and like you know the light up lantern thing like in order to make it more fall just turn it around like it's a quick easy hack i'm sure you know this by now if you've been playing for a while but in case you don't just turn it around and it just looks like regular pumpkin so like it still has fall vibes but um without it being spooky do you, do you get what i'm saying like it, they just look like regular pumpkins easy hack like i said anyways this is what this little bobbing for apple area looks like and i really like it like i said it's a very simple build but effective and i'm quite happy with it okay now i am going to go build uh in this area and this area is going to be um oh can i tell you a story okay so i was trying to plant that tree right and it like Okay, I always wonder, like, maybe this is a well-known thing, but, like, I just discovered this today. Like, I always wondered how the game decides what color the tree is going to change to during the fall. And I think it's, like, you know how, like, the game is divided into, like, uh, what do they call, like, blocks or sections or cells? I'm not quite sure. Um, but, like, that's why you can only plant trees in certain spots, right? Um, so... Wow, this story is taking longer than it needed to. But I, there's a point, I promise. So I was trying to plant that tree, where that the red tree, where that green tr greenish yellowish tree is. And every time that I would plant it there, it would always turn greenish yellowish. Even if it was, if even if it used to be a red one, it would always turn that greenish yellowish. And it was annoying me uh, because I wanted to put some like like red leaves piles uh, down there. So, but like uh, yeah, so like I guess that's how the game decides what color tree it changes to because it's already like the the spot is already dedicated for it did that make sense i hope that made sense but yeah so that's why the red tree ended up being on the other side and i like it i think it makes sense so um yeah so see that little like red maple tree thing red leaves on the ground like i like it anyways uh that was the last build and then this is going to be the last space filler 
I'm sure you, oh, didn't mean to put that there. This is just going to be like a little like uh, pumpkin patch area because I realized that like, I don't know, like it's just a good face, face, space filler. Wow. Space filler. And it really ties everything in together. Let's get rid of this little mistake and close that up because I don't like looking at it. And yeah, a pumpkin patch. Easy. You can customize it, add more things. Uh, it's all good. So um, I'm going to show you some angles of what we built today. We did that. And by we, I mean me. Here's another angle. And that's the end of this video pretty much. Yeah, a little razzle-dazzle dance. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got some inspiration out of this. And yeah, okay, that's it. Okay, bye.